Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for February. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see whatever comes up. You know, I focus on love, so that's what it is. I'm not going to take that because I haven't even had a chance. Um, so anyway, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what do we got? February. Keep in mind this may not resonate right now. It may resonate later. It may not resonate at all because this is not a private reading. We'll just see whatever comes up. What do we got for Leo for February? <laughs> wow. This is great. I mean, the night of the action. This is act now, think later. This sometimes can get you in trouble. When you, when you act impulsively, this is a very impulsive energy. I want it now. Now, the world card reversed is uh, unfinished business, perhaps, with somebody that you have known for a while, maybe? All of a sudden, there's, oh, there's something happening? Ooh, the devil reversed. Uh, this is like taking back control. But you see, there's pu there's strings. I don't know if you can see them. There's strings with that puppet. It's like I'm no longer a puppet. So, unfinished business. Lack of closure. With somebody from your past, somebody that you've known. And this is restoring control, taking back power quickly. Ooh. Definitely, there's a lack of closure here on something. Jeez. I'm... A relationship, you know? You know, it's like this one is, is seeing that somebody else has moved on. And wanting answers. I think that you have somebody from your past that may not be happy that you are moving on. They can't heal. They don't want to let go. They feel like this isn't over yet. Maybe it's you. Somebody, whether it's you or the other person, feels like something isn't over yet. They are unable to heal. They are unable to move on. They are. They are unable to let go. Somebody's unable to let go of something that the other person's already moved on. Yeah, it's a dead end. Okay, it's a dead end. Somebody's holding on to a dead end situation. You know, and really crying over the loss. It's like they just can't get over it. Despair. Somebody is in complete despair over the fact that they can't, they can't have a new beginning with you. Or you can't have a be new beginning with them. Yeah, it's like their their expectations have been dashed, right? Somebody's expectations have been dashed because I think somebody is moving into a new relationship. The stability that they once had is now gone. And this person is trying to figure out on how they can... Somebody is trying to figure out how they can take back control of a situation 
We have a Capricorn here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. We have Sagittarius again. I think there's been a third party situation that is kind of like heartbreaking for the outside party. Obviously, right? And it's like you have the ability to take the power back in your own hands or whoever this other person is. But, you know, right now they're just reeling from the pain. Anyway, um, there's been a lack of appreciation. And it's like you may not have even been prepared for this. It's like something there could have been a shift that happened really quick, really fast. And now you're you need to uh, take a break. You need to go. You need to do something. Okay. You need to take out. You need to take a break. You need to go within. You need to figure out what the next step is. I think there's been a reconnection with somebody from your past. Okay. And perhaps you know. Now there's some sort of movement in a new direction but there's somebody in the middle it's like there's there's a hindrance here you gotta you gotta take you gotta cut the ties with whoever it is that you're connected to maybe you're connected to somebody already you're married to somebody already and you want to be with somebody else i don't know what this is that's what it looks like to me Somebody has been wasting their time hanging on to a dead end. This is a dead end, both of these. Uh-oh. Yeah, it looks like we have a relationship here that has ended, okay? It's ended because somebody has a new... It's like a new connection, but it's not a new connection. It's with somebody that you've known before, okay? It's like all of a sudden there's this revival or there's this um, happening where you run into somebody and there's an attraction and, you know, you want to you wanna go with them, something like that. And you've got to make a choice between two. Absolutely, absolutely. It's two paths. Do you stay where you're at right now or do you move forward? It seems like wherever you're at right now, there's not a lot of happiness. And perhaps there's a cycle that needs to end and, you know, you're going to have to close one cycle before you can move forward down this new path with whoever this person is that you've known for a really long time. But there's fear of change, there's fear of, uh, you know, unhappiness, breaking a bond, you know. Maybe maybe there was some sort of marriage here that, you know, for some of you, there's a marriage here that is falling apart because there's somebody that has come into the picture. Anyway, maybe, you know, there is. I mean, there's some sort of foundation that is crumbling I'm sorry. And it's like there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. You know it. You know it. All of a sudden, you know, you know that your wish fulfillment is this other person because you can you see I always got to see what's mirroring each other, right? It's like you know. You know that there's a lot of happiness to be had there and when you connect with this person, you are extremely happy. It's like you're on cloud 9. But there's one completion that needs to happen first. Ten, ten, and the world, completion, completion, completion. There's one phase of your life, one cycle, one big lesson. Because the world is a lesson that needs to be dealt with. I mean, you need to, you need to find the strength to accept change, to allow yourself to evolve.
You need to allow yourself to go down the path that makes you happy. I feel like this connection is being blocked because somebody is already in a commitment or they have somebody that is in the, in the way, whatever that means. And you need to find your strength, Leo. You need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence to, you know, love yourself. Take that power back. Don't let your pride get in the way. I think there's some pain here and I don't think that you mean to hurt anybody. Or they don't mean to hurt you. Whatever that means. But you, you need to follow your own path. You do. This is follow your own path. You have a new opportunity here, Leo. And it's like there's an instant connection. There's a spark that is undeniable here. And it's like you want to go. I think that you want to go. You want to accept it. You want You have this new desire and it's like burning inside of you, you know, it is. And something is blocking you from accepting it. I think there's a reconnection with somebody that you've known for a really long time, maybe from your hometown, hometown. This person makes you feel really, really, really good. But there's somebody in the way, there's some sort of commitment that is hindering it. But there's a very strong attraction with this person. Ah, you know, and I don't, I, it feels like you, it, there's three people here, okay? There's you and two others. And I feel what the problem is, is that somebody got committed, gotten a commitment, and now they probably regret it. Now they don't want to put any more effort. Now they don't want to work on it. Now they don't want to. I just don't want to do it anymore. And you got to stand up for yourself. You got to defend yourself. You need to stand your ground. You might have to face opposition to get wish fulfillment. It looks to me like we have an opportunity for a passionate new beginning. If you can find the strength and the courage to stand up for yourself. And go after what you dream of. You might have to block because this is blocking. You might have to block out you know, the one that you're not happy with? I mean, I don't know. Somebody's not in a happy relationship, okay? They're not. They're not. I can't make that shit up. And they're looking for wish fulfillment elsewhere. And I think that, I think that they found it. I do, I do, I do. I feel like they found it, but now they got to deal with this. They got to close this other chapter first, and that's going to take strength and courage because ego is in the way, and ego is driven by society. What's everybody going to say? Don't let that get in the way. So, Leo, you do have a new partner here. You do have a new partner, but you're going to have to find the courage to 
let go of something that doesn't serve you. That I mean, that's what this devil reversed is. You gotta, you gotta stop being a puppet, right? You gotta take back control of your life. Don't be afraid to take a risk. And there's fear of taking a risk. You gotta have faith. Have faith in yourself. You have everything. You have the strength to do this. To persevere. You have a new opportunity here. A big one. You really do. And I think that fear is in the way. Fear is fear is in the way of, of following your heart. But it looks to me like you do have a passionate new beginning on the horizon. If you can find your strength and courage to take care of yourself. Don't let people take advantage of you. Block those fools out of your life. I think there's some sort of commitment here. Okay, I can't make that shit up. That is coming to an end. Because it's not fulfilling and somebody has a connection with somebody from their past in which there's a, there's a strong attraction, okay? A strong desire to just take it. It's a golden opportunity, it really is. So Leo, I feel like you have a, a new passionate beginning waiting for you to take it. Take back your power. You're in control. And it's like, I think for one of the reasons that you're staying where you're at is because this person needs you. You think this person needs you. Right? Because you're so generous. If you don't take care of yourself, nobody else is going to. This is a new desire, a new vision. You got a new partnership just waiting for you to take it. Take it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. But you gotta, you're gonna have to find the strength to deal with whatever this situation is that you are still tied to. It needs, you, you know, you need to deal with that too. Solitude. In silence, peace prevails. In silence, you'll find a depth of self-awareness as well as inner peace. This is not a time to venture forth with a new project or a new cycle. This is not a time. This is a time to step back and be still. In quietude, you can seek and uncover your deepest inner truth. Seek solitude and it will be revealed. No matter what is happening around you, find serenity your power is born in stillness. Your power. Your power. Okay? Your power. I got the goosebumps. Sometimes the traveler is in such a hurry. And it's funny, we started this reading out with getting in trouble because of impulsiveness. Isn't that funny how that happens? Sometimes the traveler is in such a hurry to reach the next peak that he gets separated from his spiritual source. However, when the traveler takes time alone, everything falls into perspective. Take time out of your day to be, be completely quiet. 
Take deep, slow breaths. Imagine inhaling vitality and exhaling all that is not needed. Affirm that all is well. Move past the chatter and chaos on the road of life. Be still and hear the voices of your higher self and your spirit guides. Take all the time you need to make this decision. You do have a new partner waiting for you. That's what I see. But closure is needed on something. That is evident. Good luck.